Welcome to the video on the digital lifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at Google's Chromecast device. Recently launched in the UK, it's been out for a while in the States. It's very simple, media streamer used with Android and iOS apps. So, what I'm going to do, open it up, have a look inside, have a look at the device, plug it in to the TV, and we'll see what it can do. Okay, so here we have the Chromecast box. Let's open that up. Simple instructions there showing us how to connect it up. We'll look at that in a moment. So here's the actual device, nice and small. We've got um, HDMI there, uh, micro USB there, which is for power, and a connect button on there. In the box, we've got a micro USB adapter and a little extension lead for the HDMI cable. Uh, this is some TVs have got sort of recess ports, so you can't really fit the dongle straight in. So that's what that's for. Okay, so I've plugged that in now, and it's um, it's detected the wireless network. I haven't given it any keys, I haven't touched anything on here, and it's asking me to set this up from Chromecast.com/setup. There's an Android and iOS versions of the app to the setup. Okay, so I've switched now to my Nexus 7 tablet because um, that's showing it on there as well. So let's touch that to set it up. So it's obviously found the Chromecast 4901, which I can set up. Okay, that says um, it's awaiting instructions and on here. It says, look for that code on the right. Yep, we see the code. I don't know, you can see that over there, B, uh, B2UB, which we do see. So I see the code. And um, we'll leave it set as Chromecast 4901, a nice handy name. And um, now it's it's asking me, i can show that, to set up to my wireless network. So let me do that. Okay, so that's just now uh, connecting. So I guess what this is doing, it set up a, a direct connection between the two, initiated the connection, and then it's now sending the wireless uh, credentials over the between the devices and then I guess that will then join the the wireless network so it's just downloaded uh, what looks like an update for it and it's going to reboot now and we should be able to connect up with it right it's all set up now so I've got on my Nexus 7 here the uh, Google Play Music app and there's a little Chromecast icon which I can pick so I can connect to that and now I'm going to uh, select a track. So I'll just a track here from Google Play Music. So there we go, we're getting uh, music from Google Play Music triggered from the um, Nexus here. But what it's doing, it's actually playing the music from Google Play Music and not going through the, through the Nexus 7. So the Nexus 7 is just really acting as a controller telling it what to play. We're not streaming from the Nexus 7 because actually this song isn't even on here. It's streamed from Google Play Music. I can control the volume uh, using the volume rocker here on the on the Nexus. And that's quite a nice album art that you get there as well. matches up there on the Nexus 7. So you've got all the usual stuff, so I can do cues and I feel lucky and all the usual stuff that you could do on, um, on the Google Play Music and it just sends it straight to the TV so it's a nice easy way to play the music. Right, so now I'm going to um, try the Google Movie service. Uh, I haven't got any movies on this one so there's a Shaun the Sheep there that I can add as a free movie so I've added that. So remember, we're Chromecasting music over there uh, to TV, but we're going to watch the video on here. Okay, so we've got movie playing here on the Nexus, uh, and notice the music carries on. So we, once you've triggered that playback, it's already going. But I can say, okay, I want to play this on the TV. So let me. Um, Okay, so that's sending that over now. Alright, so that's a uh, video stream from Google Play Video. Um, I can now turn the Nexus off, it's, I've finished with that, but of course I can control it if I want to as well.
we can also go from YouTube as well. Um, so I've got a video here playing on the YouTube app on my phone and again I can send that through to Chromecast. Okay, there's some other apps we could have, Netflix, Vivo, Red Bull TV, um, BBC iPlayer. So I can pick a TV show from through iPlayer here and we can send that through. So here it is, um, playing on the TV and on the lock screen. You can see we've got, it actually shows it now playing and we can control it with a pause. But again, we're not actually using the phone, to we're not streaming from the phone, we're just sending the instructions. And we can do the same from Netflix as well. So it makes a nice, easy way of controlling playback, triggering off the playback and just send it through and you see the quality is really good as well. And the other thing you can do is you can send from a web browser through to the Chromecast. You do this with a Chrome extension called Google Cast, which I've just added into Chrome browser here on my Mac, but it also works on the Windows one as well. So you can open the browser tab, you can pick up the Chromecast icon there, it's seen that, so and send that through. So if I do cast this tab, so you can see up here is the um is the browser tab and it seems to be a bit on the slow side uh, oh there you go, it's, oh, it was a bit blurred but it seems to have done it now so we're actually casting this um, web page from the MacBook here to the um, to the TV and as you see I'm scrolling it, it there's a kind of lag and then it does catch up so you can see how it reduces the quality as it's sending the video and then uh, so it's probably quite a nice way of controlling the browser now this has this page has actually this review of the uh, Xbox One remote I've done this has got a video on it so I'm not sure what happened when you play this video now whether it's going to stream through here or whether it's going to initiate the Chromecast so let's see oh, so that's playing it on there and it actually gives me the option to play it on the TV so if I do that that's actually going to start rather than stream the video f browser image from here the video from here to the to the TV it's actually going direct now, so we've instructed this YouTube clip to play directly here on uh, on the TV. So you could be browsing for a video, you could be browsing websites, you see a video on YouTube, from here you can play it and it'll, you can fire up to the TV. So that's the Chromecast dongle, £30 from Google, Amazon, usual places, nice and easy setup. Uh, I like some of the features, being able to send everything from the browser, from YouTube, from Android, from um, from iPad, iOS. So a very nice little device. On probably touch service, what we can do. More apps have been added all the time. So there's a full review to go with this on the digitallifestyle.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.